Hey, what's up guys? It's Benjamin Thousand Y Joe coming at you with an unexpected video that I didn't think I'd have to make. But I've been requested by some friends of mine to give my thoughts on the new ban list that just dropped. So guys, I'm sure most of you are aware that the ban list dropped today and that it has some changes that some of us are going to find uh, controversial. Some of us will like it, some of us will hate it. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to go right into it and we're going to talk and I'm going to share my opinions on it and on it and why I, th I think it's not as good as you might think. So we'll go over each card starting from Forbidden all the way to Unlimited. So let's get started. All right, starting with the Forbidden cards, we have Orcist Harp Horror. Now, this feels like it's more of a uh, slap on the wrist. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think it's going to do anything. I think losing a harp doesn't really stop the Orcus deck. And if I'm being honest, they should have hit Babel. Plus, Harp Horror's replacement is coming in a few months. So even if there is a significant loss in Orcus players, which I don't think there will be, I think they will just adapt without Horror and move on and find another... find a middle ground replacement till they get their their mech knight that's coming out in the in the one of the newer sets um yeah i don't i just i, I just don't you're they're gonna come back with a vengeance even if, if, assuming they even die down to begin with so all right the next one thunder dragon colossus it should have went to one in my opinion i i look i get it frustration from a lot of people who were like i'm so tired of the meta but look that kills thunder dragons no thunder dragon player is gonna play thunder dragons without at least one colossus so thunder dragons are effectively dead what are you gonna do make titan <laughs> like it's not gonna do you any good so I, I predict Thunder Dragons will be dead and they will be reduced to basically an engine. Basically their whole thing is going to become, in essence, they're like, oh yeah, we, we fuel chaos decks. That's what it feels like it's going to go to, to me. It's just going to, you're just going to see these guys become a chaos engine, essentially. Um, let's see here. Tempest, Maj or excuse me, Ib, the World Chalice, just a car. I don't see why this card went, got even banned, limited, whatever. I'm, I'm like, when it wasn't in at three, I'm pretty sure it was at three, and now it's gone. Like, damn Konami, what did Ib do to you, huh? Show me a. Like, I don't, I don't have anything. I'd be like, show me on the action figure. <laughs> oh, I got this, guys. Konami, show me on the action figure where Ib touched you. I know that's a horrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a horrible joke, but I went in anyway. So I'm, I I don't know what Ib did that would have caused this. I'm if if there's an OTK or an FTK or something that is caused by Ib, guys, let me know in the comments below, because I I don't I don't get it. Tempest Magician, we're dodging FTKs. Makes sense. That's it's an especially since we're going into Master Roll Five soon. Uh, Outer Entity as a thought. I mean, other than the Phantom Knight's rank-up spell, I don't see a, a way to boost this guy out in the opponent's turn, so I don't, like, I mean, he just stops hand traps, essentially, so I don't understand that ban. Uh, Salamangrate Maragestilio, I probably did not pronounce that right, but that's okay. I don't play Salad, sorry, guys. Outside of the Structure Deck Wars, anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't know why they hit that card either. I mean, some of these hits, I'm kind of like, what? I don't get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for the salad monster, I I'm guessing they just want to lower the number of like, they want to hit the consistency, which I think that card actually provides consistency for the Salamangrate deck. I'm pretty sure. So, all right, Sky Striker, mobilize, engage. Damn, you dead, Sky Strikers. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just lost your draw spell, so pretty much you don't really have anything going for you now. Oh, heavy metaphors, electromite. I like metaphors. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, I, I I know why Konami's doing that. They they hit this card because Master Rule Five is coming, 
and pendulums are actually going to be stronger in Master Rule 5, despite what people are saying. And I think even with Electromite gone, it doesn't it's not going to do enough. Uh, pendulums will just play uh, a different rank 2 to open up zones. Like, they'll play Land Phalanchus. If they're playing, like, Metaphos, they'll play... Um, you know, they'll play, like, you know, do little Chimera, or they'll play something like uh, that labyrinth guy the guardian of the labyrinth link monster whatever his name is i can't remember it off the top of my head right now uh they'll play something or if they're playing the the most popular ones that are dark attribute or spellcasters they'll play daybreaker and we witch so i think that it doesn't matter what pendulum deck you choose you still have options even though electromite is gone it sucks but you're not dead regardless of what konami might want to tell you um brilliant fusion Mmm, I think that one was unnecessary, but when we get to the unlimited, so you'll probably see why they did that. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's that's all of them. Uh, I think Brilliant Fusion going it was unnecessary, but that's just my opinion. All right, let's go to the... Uh, <clears throat> now we're in the limited section. True King, Lithosage, and the Disaster. Great! Awesome! Dinosaurs! Konami got you. Pot of Avarice. This is, I want to be excited about this card, I do, because I'm also a Light Swarm player, but the truth is, this is going to see a lot more play in, like, just other decks. I mean, I, I think I know why Konami unbanned this card. Mostly, it, it is, I think it's going to help Orcus. I'm going to be straight with you. Orcus fills their graveyard like, like that, like, like it's nothing. So, there is that. And then, uh, Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Well, that sucks, Dinosaurs lost a card, but, um... I, and I'm not sure why. I think that Konami's trying to get us to go more towards a back row format. So if you if you hate back row, you're going to have to find different ways to deal with it other than the traditional ways like Pankratops. I think this is partly why I think... Um, and as you go as we go throughout the list, you guys can see it, but as we go throughout the list, I'll explain. Like Pankratops is, is banned because they want to sell uh, Regeki Storm, basically. I think is what they're calling it here in the TCG. Or Lightning Storm in the OCG. Servant of a Demion. Oof! Ouch! Sorry, Pendulum players. Whoo! Whoo! Card of Demise. I don't feel bad about that one. That one was Cancer in a True Draco deck. And speaking of True Dracos, uh, Dragonic Diagram is gone. I never played it when I played my True King Dinosaur deck, so I'm not. I'm like, you know, big fucking deal. <laughs> Um, Into the Void, it's it's Upstart Goblin. That's why they're hitting it. Sekka's Light, it's another draw spell. They gotta hit it. Um, Red Reboot, like I said, Konami wants us to go back to a more back row centric format. So they're hitting every card. It looks to me like they're hitting cards that wipe out, like, you know, that are like the cards that we normally use. Like Sek like Red Reboot is basically a counter to things like that are other other cards that are unbanned. And like cards like Solemn Judgment. So basically you flip out Red Reboot and the whole back row gets locked down and they don't want that. They want they want the whole back row to stay alive. It's also a hand trap, so and then like I said with Pankratops, Pankratops is a one card get rid of the back row, so Dinosaurs are basically the only ones left that can really utilize it because Oviraptor equals whatever we want. So I'm a dinosaur player, so I'm not really I'm not that hurt by it. Danger Nessie, I mean they had to poke the dangers, I guess. I don't, I don't, that was another one, like, some of these cards, I'm like, oh, there's no reason to get rid of it. I know it's, it's, they're trying to make decks less consistent, but that doesn't, it's, bad Yu-Gi-Oh players, stop it. Yeah, that's what Konami's doing to you. If you play Dangers, they're like, no, bad, don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's go to the, uh, semi-limits. Uh, Deep Sea Diva, Tour Guide from the Underworld, and Mind Control. Okay, so basically Deep Sea Diva, you know, they have a Deep Sea archetype coming out. So they gotta, they need this to be more, more than one to sell, help sell that archetype. Tour Guide is actually in the same, like, player, uh, competitive, like, I don't, how do I want to say this? It's basically in the same vein as Deep Sea Diva. You're just getting another, another card or copy of it, of the type of card. Like, Tour Guide gets you a Fiend, Deep Sea gets you a Sea Serpent. So... Um, essentially these are just, yeah, that's what they're there for. They're there to just be plus ones or deck thins. And they're like, the game has gone so fast. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't. 
Uh, mind control at two. I mean, it's been going from one to two to three. I mean, Konami, just make up your mind with mind control. <laughs> make up your mind. Where do you want it? <laughs> um, I mean, it's good that it's still in the game. I'm just glad they didn't ban it. Although it looks like I don't know where they're heading with it because it was at three in this past format. Now it's looking like it's going to go back to one, maybe. Don't get it too attached. That's all I'm saying. Um, and now we come to the uh, freshly unlimited cards. Boom. Morphing Jar 2. Flip effects don't matter anymore. They're too slow. Tribe Infecting Virus is unlimited. Well, that's cool. Um, but we're getting a better one in, a, in the new set that's coming. I did a whole video on that monster. Um, so it's fine. The Tribe is back. Um, the Phantom Knights rank up magic launch as the thought's gone, so it can come back. Uh, Sky Striker Kagari, well, without engage, because Sky Strikers are effectively dead, so, you know, enjoy your engage, I guess. Uh, Book of Moon, about damn time. That card's not gonna do enough. It's not gonna do enough at three, in my opinion. Solemn Warning. Well, with the time rules, you're taking a gamble there. Soul Drain. Uh, this is this is their. Uh, please forgive us for not for screwing over you guys and not hitting Orcist. This is this is Konami's sorry, basically in my opinion. They're like, yeah, about that. We didn't hit Orcist enough, so here's a trap card that you hopefully will get to if you're going first, so you can stop them before they get started. But, like, every deck in the game needs to use their graveyard. So, uh, you know, prepare to shoot yourself in the foot. That's all I'm saying. Dark Arm Dragon, it doesn't do enough. So it's fine. It's not a quick effect. It's it's more of an OTK style style card now. You If you play Arm Dragon, your goal is to get rid of back row so your other monsters can come in and plow through. So, Performage Damage Juggler. This is about time. I think the Trick Clown engine needs to... The Performage engine needs to come back. Um, it's a powerful engine. I think that you're you're going to see it stacked in a lot of things. Especially since we're heading back to kind of an Xyz-centric format. And uh, Damage Juggler is also a bit of a hand trap. It can save your life points. Uh, so Light Swarm players, rejoice. You have some firepower back. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on all of this. To be honest with you guys, I think that... It's an okay ban list overall. It's the the only thing is that I don't like about it actually is uh, the ban cards and one like one or two limited cards. Like I don't think Colossus should have been banned. I think one was fine. Uh, that way, Thunder Dragons aren't completely dead. I mean, the the only good news is, is we get another ban list. I think before the the set that drops the new Orcist and the new Thunder Dragon and all that stuff and the new Salad Monster and the new Sky Striker Monster and all that stuff. I think we'll get, we're going to get another ban list before all that. So, like, I look, if you want to get rid of your Colossuses, I mean, go right ahead, I guess, but hang on to one at least because I think it'll be back because Konami's going to want to sell that set. Not that it won't sell itself, but I think they'll want to sell it and a Colossus being at one would be a selling point for that set. Um, I don't think Ib should have been gone. I think Ib was fine. It would have been fine at one. I think most players only play one, but I don't don't see a problem with it. Uh, Harp Horror. I mean, they hit the wrong card in my opinion. Should hit the Babel. Now, and if we come over to this, the only one I'm questioning is Pot of Avarice. Like as a Light Swarm player, I'm I'm thrilled to have it, but part of me kind of worries about what else can play it. Because I'm thinking Orcus is going to abuse the shit out of that card. Because they didn't do nothing to them. So they basically get a new draw spell. And they still fill their graveyard up like it's no tomorrow. So they, they make... I mean, come on. They make Lightsworn look slow. On that front. Card Demise. I mean, now if you're you're a true Draco player. If you draw it, you draw it. And the same with your Diagram. Now you're, now you're not so invincible anymore. So... But... You're st I wouldn't count on them going away, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now because having uh, Soul Drain back means your true Draco players just got another Floodgate to play. And they don't really summon from their graveyard all that much. Or activate effects from the graveyard. So they don't they don't care. They're going to play that card like that. you know. And that's just between that and their 
their own having the monarchs uh, erupt. I mean, good luck activating any monster effects. At that point, the only hope you have is to play a lot of back row hate and play a lot of big monsters that can special summon themselves from the hand. Like, you know, so get your dangers, you know, your danger, uh, Nessie, not Nessie, Nessie, the Thunderbird and your, uh, danger, um, Bigfoot ready, because that's going to be <laughs> your answer. Oh, man. I think, I think, yeah, I think Soul Drain only, yeah, Soul Drain only stops the cards in the graveyard in the banished pile, so your hand should be still safe. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think of the ban list in the comments below. I've given you my two cents. I mean, you're welcome to disagree with me. Uh, by the way, my, it's not like my opinion is law or anything. But So by all means, guys, share your opinion in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm Ben 2000 YGO. I'm your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.